Akpabio Yaris scramble for PDP senators as race for Senate presidency intensifies as Asari Dokubo says Southeast would produce next Senate president. I'll be hanging out with Dari Odrufaoko and Tony Waji. So if you're ready, let the hangout start now. Thank you for staying with us. Most times we are faced between choosing a popular but a bad action or a bad but popular action. The Federal Airports Authority of Nigeria, FAAN, has justified the action it took to demolish some structures built on illegal acquired land belonging to the agency. According to FAN, the recent demolition of 13 houses posed grave dangers to the operations at the Murtala Mohammed International Airport, Lagos, contrary to wrong information by some persons. The spokesperson of FAN stated that the publication and jingles were done warning people about the risk involved in purchasing and building unrestricted aviation land without considering the danger to aircraft operations and occupants of such buildings themselves. Dari, I saw the video this morning and the woman running, you know, talking on the ground and everything. Normally, when you see that kind of thing and the way oh, sure the I demolition am. was being carried out and the amount involved, the lovely, lovely, beautiful, beautiful houses, Going you, down. You, you know, there's this sentiment that, oh, yeah, oh, blah, blah. But I had to put calls, I had to start making my findings and inquiries, and I discovered that, oh, if your, build, your building is standing on any drainage network, it's a big problem. That's you are going to get the repercussion in the future. Mm -hmm. If your building is standing very close to NPC right of way, yeah. it's something that the repercussion will told. Of time. Now, this is a federal agency, and if you see the, the, the amount of land, landed property needed for FAN around that area, for the runway and for their operations, is a very, very restricted area. So how did we find ourselves in a place where not one, two, three, or four people started erecting structure there. And why did they wait for them to finish, finish the, the structure, structure complete and, uh, the beautiful uh, edifices? The, 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 and the, 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 that's the only, that very last point of yours, is the only angle through which I can probably fault FAN. In all this, why wait for these people to spend money erecting the building? Fine buildings, though. One of our senior colleagues is affected by this, and uh, you know, I visited that house before, and you need to see wonderful house that his family will be very proud of, and they've been living there for years. As far as he's concerned, he has a place. Now everybody's on the street. It can be really, really be painful. But how come we ended up purchasing such land in the first place? Due diligence probably was not done. Because... The proximity of these places to the airport should only tell someone, I need to ask a lot of questions. You see, in buying land, purchasing properties and all whatnot, one needs to be extremely careful. A colleague of mine, Dio, mm. just told me that, look, that he has a family member that is very close to that area. That sometimes, if the plane is about to land, and they see the big tires, very close, very close. To I, the roof, I have a friend who lives massive tire that they see. I have a friend who used to live in a rented apartment around that place. He, after two years, it mainly his two-year rent expired. He left. He said, whatever time, either early in the morning, late in the night, midnight, that a plane is landing, everybody is awake because the noise alone is just next door. Hmm. Not to talk of, I mean, the the impact. That it's such that when a plane lands, they feel the impact. It's not, it's, it, and then every day you hear of a plane crash far or near, and you are sleeping right under the tire of a moving plane. So that's what I meant by due diligence was really not done. And if you look at, to make matters worse, they bought this land from Omoniles, an area that officially belongs to the Federal Aviation uh, Authority of Nigeria. Mm. An area 
that you obviously see their signboards and handwritings everywhere. Then did you even go to Lagos State government to uh, check uh, the yes. of Did you land? make efforts oh, to obtain... Government acquired area, government no. reserved land. Were well, efforts made to obtain C of O? Mm. And Lagos said, yes, you can get it. Those are the questions we need to ask. Do they have C of O? Mm. Who gave it to them? Or did they apply and they were turned down? What did they do at that point? What message did they get at that point? That is one. Two, is the fact that they claim that some people came and said they are selling the land based on a court judgment. A family said they are selling based on a court judgment. Did you ask questions? Who did you go to court with? Is it FAN? Is it another family? And it is not difficult to know the ownership status of such land if you ask questions enough. But with what we are hearing FAA now saying, we will understand that a lot of mistakes were made on the part of those who built on those lands. Why we will fault FAA for waiting for them to wreck such beautiful buildings? And if you, Ayo, go there and see something for yourself. The same street, on the same street, the houses on a line were the ones demolished. The houses on the other side of the same street are still standing. How, what, what kind of planning went on in that place? That street you saw, demolition was going on. The houses on the very other side are still standing. So what happens to those houses tomorrow? Or are, are they permanently exempted from demolition? What do we expect these people affected by this demolition to do or say or expect from those who sold the land to them? Why we blame the buyers? And there are no ways we can stop these land uh, speculators, these uh, Monile families, from inflicting this kind of everlasting injury on people in the name of selling land to them. When you know something is not genuine, mm -hmm. when you know a land does not belong to you, when you know what you are about to sell is possible to be demolished in the future, sooner or later, why would you still go ahead and make such sales? And then for agencies and other owners of such lands, why do you wait until ownership is taken, buildings erected, people, tenants and their landlords move in? You allow them for years to occupy, only for you to come one day and say, look, we are demolishing. The cost, the money wasted on the demolished buildings could have been safe or something better. If fine itself had moved quickly at the point of erecting maybe the foundation or even fence. I said, no, you are erecting this on prohibited land. We should ask questions. Why were actions not taken at that initial time when these people took possession of the barren land? Those are the kind of questions. And we if the Lagos State government, if they decide to implement everything on their master plan strictly, mm -hmm. Hmm. A lot of these houses will go. Will, yeah. will go. Yeah. Now, when you talk about that rule that you must not erect structure mm -hmm. on that power line, line that, if you go that. to the command area, mirror area, you just see... And then, and then there's something houses. we quickly need mm. to correct mm. about that. It was not Lagos State that carried out the demolition. Yes. Uh, the, 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 the agencies that came only responded to request mm -hmm. from... The Federal, federal Airport Authority, uh, Airport of, Nigeria, Authority of Nigeria. It's a federal so, government land. Uh, the speculation, because there's something going on mm. online that Lagos State government moved there. They are targeting certain people. No. Lagos State government has nothing That's to the, do with that. That, that, kind, that line of argument is despicable. Yeah, yeah, it's despicable. It's unimaginable. Tony, did you see the demolition at all? I saw the demolition. And uh, when you look at the um, airport around the world, you know the way this is, if it's not development and civilization, I don't even think airports should be even we, close we, uh, in any way to, uh, to, to, to town. Where to resident areas. Houses around the facility of any airports. That's correct. Mm. Correct. Because, you know, the way we do things in Nigeria, mm. Mm. airports, buildings are not supposed to be erected close to the airport. At all. You, you have to, to fly travel. And come, yeah, you need to fly and come down to Lagos and, you know, 
you, 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 see, you, see, yeah, you see houses around there, I'm just scared. Like, are we going to drop on the houses or and you want to watch out where the tarmac can start? And all that. So I think it's over, over time we need to look okay, at look this at Abuja Airport now. Yeah. Look at how far Abuja Airport is. Mm, yeah. from anything. We need you to, have to reduce, travel yeah. like 45 before minutes you yeah. before you get to town. So a lot of things need to happen. A lot needs to happen. All those who are saying, of course, you know, after election, so, yeah, the, you know, a lot of, vision, a lot of yeah. things like that are expected to happen to, 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 um, to be said. But it goes beyond that. The fact that these buildings are, I'm, I'm yet to see anybody to say, um, telling me that it's, it's, it, it, to dispute it, that it's not close to the airport. Uh -huh. Until I hear anybody say that, mm -hmm. but then that is not to exonerate agencies responsible for this. Because from Building planning, I mean, and then building, Foundation. and then you erect this building, and something lovely, lovely building. It's crazy, and then because this is, I live here, We're waiting. Uh, I just drop a heap of you know, gravel or whatever. I see the state coming and say, What's going on? You know, uh -huh. so you saw that somebody dropped the ball somewhere, and we, we just look at this whole issue holistically. Somebody put a building from beginning to the end, then mm. you come one day to say, You're going to demolish. I know they serve their notices. How did they even get to that? Who sold those lands to them? So as to, because it's not the first time they got say it's a demolition building, so we should not put, you know, color it politics and all that. Mm -hmm. It's not new. Demolition of building has started, and I, I, I learned that even doing some at the coastal line of Lekki yeah. and all that. So we take away politics so we can actually address the issue. So as to forestall future occurrence. Otherwise, it will happen. If not that, it will definitely, there are some yeah, people who are still building on coastal lines and, yeah. and drainages in Lagos today. They're talking about so Airport. To start. You can see buildings yeah. going close, gradually. Before you know it, so they will be what next are you door. Talking about? Just go to first, you can see what's going on. People are building in places they shouldn't build in the yeah. first place. Mm. So it takes a whole lot for government because to start. Because we have to clarify it now. Mm. This is not uh, a kind of action taken by the Lagos State government. No, 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 no. no. no it's, 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 in the it's, agency, it's from, yes, people saw. I think where the issue came up. The yeah. assistant of Lagos State government. Not the assistant. Mm -hmm. The FAN requested, it's like a service rendered. They saw vehicles below and uh, machines belonging to Lagos State government. They were invited. So whatever, 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 whatever is happening, we should be able to talk address to FAN. the insinuation online yes. and uh, that it has nothing to do with Lagos State. With ethnic, tribal, it's whatever. That's that's nothing to do. They it's only it's responded online. to the request of a federal government agency to ad address an emergency. Because I think the issue, like one of the concerned people said, they were served even recently. Mm. Uh, some months or so ago, there were attempts to carry out this demolition and nearly degenerated into something very, very uh, violent. So I think this was planned and carried out with determination. But if this same determination had been extended at the very beginning of, you see people digging lands, mm -hmm. dropping heap of sands, we won't be here talking. Okay. You can use the same force to prevent them from assessing mm -hmm. those mm -hmm. landed properties. And to, the, uh, to uh, people that want to buy land, you know, due yeah. diligence. You need to cross-check. You you cross there are agencies yeah, so a lot of things in, to within done, Lagos yeah. State yeah. that you can go and check the status of the land. Yeah. If you buy land as much as 10, 20, 30, 40 These million, mm. if you can yeah. afford that, just go who stroll into one of those yeah. agencies, get the status of that land, and they will tell you what the status to avoid this insinuation, this um, it's kind of you know, painful, because uh, it's very painful, Tony. It's, it's when you see the beautiful buildings and you know the way Nigeria is, it's painful. It's painful. Mm -hmm. You know, at times, so, eh, it's at times, we need to do certain things correctly in Nigeria. Mm. 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 At times, we. That, is that mistrust between governments and the people, and the people. Mm. that causes this kind of, you know, hiccups, crises now at times? Otherwise, when you do the wrong thing and you're corrected, you shouldn't generate an opera like mm. this. The fact mm. that somebody built somewhere that is not right. As I mm. said earlier, I'm here to see someone is coming to tell me that, no, that land doesn't belong to FAN. You made a mistake. The mistake right now is trying to approach. I don't know who sold the land to them, how the building started, and then it's they so finished and they moved in. Yeah. And, yeah. Then, yeah. and then suddenly, you know, so I know it's painful, but... All right.